Hello everyone, uh, we're going to go ahead and get back into it. Now what I'm going to do uh, in this video is I'm going to do a little bit of review before we really get started. Um, our concept is going to be the area of regular polygons using trig uh, because it's been a few weeks before I do anything else. I want to, um, again, again, uh, these are going to be up all week long. I'm going to be putting them up today and tomorrow, um, try and get as many as I can. And if you have any specific questions, um, on any specific problems, especially the Math XL, make sure that those are emailed to me. Uh, I'm happy to get any and all requests. Uh, so what we're what we're going to be eventually doing is talking about how to take what we've done so far and and, and translate it to all different types of polygons, uh, and that's going to involve using trig. So before we get started with that let's review trig um just the basics talking about sine cosine and tangent uh using sokotoa right um just a reminder sokotoa stands for sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse and tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent i've color coded everything and gotten it in that standard way we like to look at it and you know once again if you are having trouble take a minute before you do anything else redraw your triangle make it look like this so that it is it does what we expect it to do um so we're gonna just do a bunch of these today i've got two sines two cosines and two tangents we're, we're gonna go through and and do them together so let's get started. Let me make some room here. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to first identify, are we dealing with sine, cosine, or tangent? So we've got our angle over here like we want it to be, our right angle over here like we want it to be. So we know over here, this is our hypotenuse across from our angle. That's our opposite and then adjacent is down here. And if we look, we've got opposite and hypotenuse, so we are definitely working with sine. Sine of our angle, which is 63 degrees, should be equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So we're gonna go through we are going to make a proportion. We're going to cross multiply. And we're going to get x equals 16 times the sine of 63 degrees. And we're going to go through and we are going to put that into a calculator. We cannot do that by hand. Sine of 63 degrees is not one of those angles uh, that we can actually do do in our head by ourselves. When you take pre-calculus and you take a whole semester devoted to trig, you'll talk about how some angles you can just know what they are. You you can find out what they are and they have a, a specific value, but 63 is definitely not one of them. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to type in 16 times the sine of 63 into my calculator double check that what you're doing is is correct double check that your your calculator is in fact in degree mode um i will i will post a couple pictures so you can see what my screen looks like i have um one on my phone that i that i downloaded that works a little bit better than your average so i'll, I'll take a picture of that those of you who have an android phone i can give you steps on how to download this um, particular thing. It's not an iPhone one, I apologize. Um, but when we plug that into the calculator, hit all the buttons, we end up with our final answer of 14 point two five six one. Uh, zero four three nine. 
and it says round to the nearest tenth, so we're going to do that. Here's our nearest tenth. The, the number on the left is what we're trying to figure out. The number on the right is going to tell us where to go. That's a five. Five or above means we take this number and we make it one more than it was. So this is 14.3 as our final answer. So hopefully maybe this knocked a little bit of dust off going through and doing this. I want to give you a little bit of time. You can go ahead and try this out on your own. I'm going to wait here for a second. You can pause the video and then we'll get back to it. All right, so we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to notice again, here's our opposite. Here's our adjacent. Here's our hypotenuse. So we are definitely this time working with cosine. So we're going to write it out just like we did before. The cosine of our angle 70 degrees is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So we're going to go through once again like we did before. We're going to cross multiply and we're going to end up with x equals 10 times the cosine of 70 degrees. And then we're going to throw that into our calculator once again, 10 times the cosine of 70. And we're going to end up with 3.4020143. And again, round to the nearest tenth. So we're going to draw our line here on the tenth. And we're going to look at that. That's a zero. That's too low. These just go away. And we are left with our final answer of 3.4 point four units and there we go all right here we have one that is a tangent you can tell because again we've got the opposite one and we've got the adjacent one so we're going to jump right in tangent of 52 degrees is equal to 13 over x, opposite over adjacent. Be careful here. Um, in the previous two, we had the x was on top here. We have it on the bottom. So just watch out. When we cross multiply, look at what we get. We get x times the tangent of 52 equals 13. And we're going to have to solve for x by taking this whole tangent of 52 degrees number and dividing it over with division. So we go through and we get our final answer of 13 divided by tangent of 52. Well, I should probably put an N there, huh? Tangent of 52. And then again, that's going to go into the calculator with a division sign this time, 13 divided by the tangent of 52. And then when we go through, we end up with our final answer of x equals 10.156713. And again, since we are rounding to the nearest tenth, we're going to look at that 5 and say that makes this go up by 1. 10.2 is our final answer. Um, let's do three more. So you've done one sine, one cosine, one tangent. Let's do another one. First of all, take a second and figure out is this sine, cosine, or tangent. And so after figuring out, here's your opposite, here's your adjacent, and here's your hypotenuse, we have come to the decision that this is going to be sine. So sine of 48 equals 
15 over x. So once again, the, the x is in the denominator, so just be careful. Cross multiply. And then once you do your cross multiplication and division, x times sine of 48 equals 15. And then you divide. You divide it over, and you should get 15 over the sine of 48. And then you put that into the calculator, 15 divided by sine 48 close parentheses, and you end up with a final answer of 20.184, and it keeps on going, yada, 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 nearest tenth, so that 8 makes this one round up to a 2. There's that. All right, here's another one. Same thing. Take a minute, figure out are we dealing with sine, cosine, or tangent. And you should have realized we have cosine right here. Again, here's your adjacent, here's your hypotenuse. We're going to go ahead. The cosine of the angle is adjacent over hypotenuse, that is 13 over x, we're going to cross multiply and divide. We should get 13 over cosine of 33, and we can throw that into the calculator. 13 divided by the cosine of 33. And we end up with a final answer of 15 point five zero zero seven yada 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 this zero makes this all round down so the answer is just fifteen point five all right last one you should have seen this coming it's a tangent and we've got the tangent of 25 equals x over 14. Again, look at where the x is. It's in the top. So your final situation here, once you do your cross multiplication and division, 14 times the tangent of 25. Why is it times? Again, if you do your cross multiplication, it's much easier to do than just trying to memorize things. So take the moment, write it out. You can see. So 14 times the tangent of 25. You end up with a final answer of 6.5. Two, eight, three, yada, 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 yada. We're running to the nearest tenth, so we look at that two. Well, that's less than five, so we don't care about it. 6.5 is our final answer rounded to the nearest tenth. All right. Um, the next video we will have coming up is uh, over using trigonometry to figure out the area of something, the area of a triangle, so that we can use that information and go forward with it. Have a wonderful day. See you in the next video.